Let's see what I got here. Oh, it's weird. It's just salt. Um, well, that's okay, because I <coughs> love salt, and I'm not the only one. You know, uh, salt, since the dawn of man, has been one of the most sought-after commodities on the face of the earth. Kingdoms have risen, wars have been waged, and explorers have trekked to the ends of the earth just to get a hold of this stuff. <coughs> you know, in 1912, the psychologist Ernest Jones said that mankind's obsession with salt was irrational and subconsciously sexual. <laughs> But I understand it, because without salt, we'd be nothing. Really. Oh. Yeah. Salt helps our brains to work, it helps our muscles to move. Oh. There you go, yeah. There you go. In every meal right now, there is four times this much salt. Gross. <laughs> Did you know you can buy a four-pound box of salt on Amazon for about eight dollars? I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is enough salt to season 11,000 servings of potato chips. And you know, it occurred to me that if the next time you wanted a salty snack, if you just ate the salt instead of all those chips, not only would you skip out on all that fat and cholesterol, you'd save about five thousand dollars. So, that's a life hack. Me uh, you know, in traditional Japanese theater, they would sprinkle salt on the stage to ward off evil spirits. You're welcome. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna stop here in a second. Um, <laughs> you know, salt is, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's all natural. It's got no preservatives. Well, okay, technically it is a preservative, so that doesn't count. But it is the only rock you can eat. And in my book, that makes it pretty cool. There we go. I think that's just about it. I'll have to finish that later. Very good. All right. I made a huge mess. That's sort of the way that goes. <laughs>